Welcome in the 27th episode. Today we will fix another two issues in our game. If you want to help support this channel, hit the subscribe button below this video, turn on notification so you will not miss any future video I release. Ok, so let's get started. So let's first of all go through the issues which we're gonna fix today. So the first issue is actually caused by the previous episode which I recorded. So if you go inside your game and let's say you select the animal category and then you select the fish. If you go back to the to the select puzzle screen, go back to the animals and try to select the same word again. As you see the fish is not selectable. So this is one issue which we're gonna solve. I already put the solution inside the comments below the previous episode. But today I just want to make sure everyone have this fix. So we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to fix it. And another issue which we're gonna go over is fixing this scrolling list. So currently if you add more than the size of the list, more buttons than the size of the list, the list is broken. So it's always go it's always going back to the first button. So we're gonna fix this one as well. Okay, so first of all, let's open our project and uh, let's go to the scripts folder. Let's go to the scriptable objects and then open the board data script. Then let's scroll down below the rows variable and let's add one more public function to this class. So public void and I will call it clear data. So this function will just go over all of them all of the squares and set the found value to false. So we're going to do for each in our search search words. I will call this variable word. We want to just call word dot found to be equal to false. OK, and that's it for this function. So we just simple setting this Boolean variable to be false. Let's save everything now and now let's go back to our word checker class and let's go to the start function. So inside the start function we just want to call the current game data dot selected board data dot clear data. Okay, so we just want to call this function which we just implemented. So every time you start new board we're going to clear every single boolean variable. So let's save everything. Let's go back to Unity and let's just test our changes. Okay, so when I start the game now, let's select the animals, let's select the fish, select a few times. If I go back now, animals, the fish is selectable again. So everything is works as it should. So I think this issue is solved at this moment. So let's look at another issue now. So to actually test this issue, we need to add a few more buttons. So let's go to the resources, then data, and then game level data. And as you see, currently we have some six categories, so six buttons. So let's expand this list and I will just make, let's say, nine elements so there's going to be added another three countries so i select this uh, second country and then rename it to test one then let's select another one test two and then test three okay so this button will be just for the testing if you have more categories than me you should be fine but I want to add something to actually test. So let's save it. So file, save. And now let's go back to our scenes folder. Let's open the select category scene. Let's go to the canvas. Uh, actually, let's go to the puzzle category scroll list. Scroll list. Scroll list content. And now we need to add some more prefabs. So while we just select these countries right click duplicate and I will rename this duplication to test one. So I will put exactly the same names as I put in my list in that scriptable object. So let's duplicate this test one now and I will just call it test two. And then let's duplicate this test two. 
and I will call it test3. So we should have more buttons than our list. So if I switch now to the scenes, as you see, we cannot see any, any more buttons because there is, a, there is a mask applied on our list. So if I select the scroll list and then scroll down and disable the mask, you should see more buttons. So this is all buttons we just added. I will not change the graphics for it because this is just for the testing. But if you have more buttons, you should be fine. So if you enable the mask, you will see that everything will be masked out. So I will leave it for now like that. And let's actually check it and let's start the game. And now if you, if you see like we have more buttons than the size of our list and I cannot really scroll down because list is going back. It's just jumping back straight away. So it's not working properly. So to fix it, let's select the scroll list again, uncheck this mask, and then let's select this scroll list content and make sure you are in the, in the scene view. And then once you select this scroll list content, you will see this rectangle here. Hopefully you can see it. So currently is is set to the size of this of this list. So we want to make sure this rectangle is expanded to the size of the buttons. Okay? So I will just set this rectangle to have the last button included. Hopefully this is clear. Okay? So make sure you do it for the scroll list content. And now when you go back to the scroll list and select this mask, you're going to mask out everything. And now when you press play, so as you see currently our list is, is scrolling fine, but there is another issue, like if you scroll in the middle, the list is going automatically up or down. So this is kind of funny behavior, but we don't want this one to happen to our list anyway. So in order to solve it, you have to change one value. If you select the scroll list, let's go to the scroll rectangle and then you have to change this deceleration rate. So currently I have it set to 60. That's the problem. So let's change this value to be 0 0.123. Okay, so make sure this is the 0, 0.0 dot. Okay, so this is the value is less than one. So if you start now, As you see, we can scroll it and list stays in the middle or whenever we want to. So if you have a longer list, this should work fine now. So I hope this, uh, this will solve your issues. If you have any other issue or if you found anything else in your game, please do let me know in the comments. So at this moment, this, uh, this game is playable and I think we have most of the functionality implemented. But I think I will add a few more episodes to this game. So in the next episode, we're going to start to implement the hints. So there's going to be the hint button and the player will have some hints to help find the, the word or something like that. I will think of something. So the next episode should be released with the hint button around Sunday. So it's going to be about three, maybe four days from now. And then after implementing the hint button, I will see what else I have on the list, but if you have any other suggestion, what can be added to this game, do let me know in the comments below, so I can add more episodes and we can expand this game. So thank you very much for watching, that's it for today, and I will see you again in the next episode.